This video is brought to you by Manscaped. Okay, is it just me or do these low res icons in the bottom right really just bring you back? Like, I know we still have loading icons today, but there's something about the late 2000s ones that just screams nostalgia. Not just me, right? In my head, I just hear, previously on Survivor. I feel that this quote was the design philosophy behind Uncharted. This game was new ground for Naughty Dog, and even for the time, the gameplay and story weren't anything groundbreaking. Without Drake's fortune, we don't have all the other amazing sequels. Let's ignore Lost Legacy like Naughty Dog does, and maybe no Last of Us games. And you gotta give it to Naughty Dog, creating a character and a quote, pontificatingly, not a word, but I'm rolling with it, framing their new venture. Man Raider, Tomb Charted, Indiana Drake, whatever you want to call it. Naughty Dog wasn't shy about its inspirations and took them in stride. I mean, hell, Tomb Raider Underworld's first mission is even at sea, which came out a year later, so who's really copping who here? There's a line between paying respect and moving forward and just blame copy. The haters are going to have a field day with that line. I think Uncharted walks the former well, as it takes the genre-defining features of Tomb Raider and mixes it with a Hollywood blockbuster, all in a way that doesn't feel forced. And like, wow, I remember being blown away back in 2007 when I saw this game. To have a game look this good right as the PS3 launch is nothing short of amazing. I'm sure many of you know how difficult the cell processor was to develop for with that system, and that reminds me that if you want to be great at something, you can't spread yourself too thin. Jack of all trades, anyone? Since Naughty Dog just had to worry about PlayStation, they were able to hone in on his hardware and create the best looking games ever, even to this day. Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. Drake is my kind of man, especially with all the BS going on right now about trying to censor our history curriculum in the US. I don't like talking about current events as I want these videos to be timeless, but I bet whenever you watch this video, something to that effect will still be happening. I'm gonna come back to this video in five years and leave a comment if I was right. Look, Mr. Drake, you signed a contract. <laughs> oh, how everyone feels so safe behind some paper and ink. It's just like money. We humans have done a great job in agreeing on certain things. <laughs> it's a joke, but it's crazy when you really break it down from where we started and how we got here. Really fun stuff to think about. Like how money has constantly been evolving to be lighter and now where it's just numbers on a screen, a piece of plastic or a CPU. And now since money is more digital, we just go more into the tech and build the blockchain to add some kind of value into it. I'm not gonna pretend I know anything about anything, but the world's crazy y'all. What does this have to do with Uncharted? Well, you see, this was all a part of my elaborate analysis of the themes surrounding Drake, as the entire game, he's after some treasure only to realize human life is more valuable, but then ends up with a trove of treasure anyway and keeps hunting, proving the thesis that humans are cyclical creatures and suck at change. And who said Uncharted 1 had no story and nothing to say? <laughs> I was that for conjecture, y'all. <laughs> I really hope I lost some of you on that one because I'd be lying if I said I wasn't taking the piss for at least half of that. And then after writing it, I was like, okay, maybe I'm onto something, but to give myself that much credit sounds silly. So next. Sully, uh, we got some trouble. Hurry it up. Well, Sully's caught up right now. Goodbye, boo. They don't take prisoners. At least not male prisoners. Wait, what are you talking about? What he's talking about is that men suck and must die. Well, what's worse? You obviously haven't been in a Panamanian jail. Do you know how to use one of these? One, this refers that Drake has been. And two, Nate's nonchalantness will be his best trait throughout the entire game. The constant banter from him is a great way to remind us not to take this story too seriously and enjoy what we are being presented with without thinking about it too hard. Which I'm going to try my best to do. Think about it too hard. Like, maybe Drake is an actual psycho sociopath and that all our crying about ludonarrative dissonance is a waste of time as he's crazy since the start. Sociopaths do have a way of manipulating people and feigning emotions to get what they want. Maybe all along this game was Naughty Dog's attempt to see if they could trick us into thinking Drake is a good guy with their dazzling cutscenes after he murders everyone. I think they succeeded. I'd f him. Now, if you want to look as good as Nathan Drake, you're going to need to get yourself some real man products with Manscaped. Over 4 million men, including myself, have been using Manscaped to nourish our bodies, especially during these cold winter months, which can be particularly harsh on our skin and lips. If you're lazy, like me, and like making everything easy and simple, you can cover all your needs from head to toe with the Manscaped Ultra Premium Collection. Just one box nets you everything you see here on screen and covers your three Bs. Ya butt, ya balls, and ya body. I've got a really bad habit of biting my lips and constantly ripping off any dead skin to the point that I start bleeding and getting busted lips. And I'm 100% when I say the hydration that comes from their lip balm is second to none. I use it every day and keep one in my car, my house, and even my jacket pocket. And you can too, as the collection comes with three of them. 
You can opt in to the Manscaped hygiene plan to make sure that you're always stocked up on the most premium hygiene products like the lip balm. So head over to manscaped.com and make sure you use promo code GAMINGWINS for 20% off. Plus, international shipping to get your box. Your balls and your body will thank you. Just point and shoot, right? Good girl. Here we go. Dude says it like they're about to go down a slide together. Great A, crazy. A. Okay, I'll come back to Earth for a bit. This game is 100% a product of its time, and to trash it in today's standards would just be unfair. When it released, it wasn't without its fair share of criticism, but the cover shooter mechanics were solid and platforming was fun. But in today's standards, they're kind of butt, and very repetitive, and controls horribly. Back then, though, it was really good, and like I said earlier, these games were just baby steps for what's to come. Oh, wait! What are you doing? Okay. And for those of you that want to say this game has no themes and nothing to say, come on. Elena has a great, albeit simple arc, about letting go of her attachment to documenting everything. Sure, it's her job and she needs to make money, but consistently does she let that overvalue her actual life? How many people do you know in your life that are miserable working their jobs but don't do anything to change it? It's the same thing, just on a grander scale. I love this arc because it's exactly what I went through with my old jobs and still need to keep in check with YouTube. Work and play is a hard bitch to balance, and I hope you always strive to do so. I appreciate that Sully's character is just a little minx all the time. Even on his plane, he's got his little pinup girl with Hog Wild. Most of the characters in this game are archetypes, but they all play their part well. You alright? Nothing that years of therapy won't fix. Ha! <laughs> That's the spirit. And I'd like to acknowledge to say that this was Naughty Dog's small acknowledgement of the crazy shit that happens in this game. And this will come up later when Sully dies. As long as they're self-aware of their popcorn game and I willingly bought it, what harm done? Yeah, I'm more of a behind the scenes kind of guy. Hinting that he's gonna be gone for half the game, keeping the baddies at bay. Huh. <laughs> ah, for Christ's sakes. You can always count on a simp to forget the most important line we teach our children. Bros before hoes. Just pretend for a minute that I don't really care about any of that stuff and cut to the chase, would you? <sighs> Man only interested in the climax. And like I said, they play the archetypes perfectly. I mean, what do you expect from Nolan North and Richard McGonagall? Nate's still green with excitement about the narrative and adventure of it all, and Sully, who's been around the block a few times, just wants to see his payday. Sully, the girl can hold her own. You should have seen her. Fine. You go on out there and you tell her, we just found the lost city of gold. Only a real simp would get angry at another simp for simping over his simpy. Do you trust me? More or less. Uh, it kind of sounds like more or less. You know, since Sully kind of is being so... She did help fight off the pirates and help fund their trip, and he wants to kick her to the curb. Should have seen that one coming. I can appreciate someone who respects the game. Something that Naughty Dog has always been great at is their cutscenes, but not for the reasons you might think. Other companies do this, of course, but these guys are king. Instead of using pre-rendered cutscenes built with CGI, a different studio, or what have you, they use their game engine with higher quality meshes to not have such a distinct difference between gameplay quality and cutscenes. My prime example is Arkham Origins. They look great, but they're jarring as hell to switch between that and gameplay. Man, even way back then, Naughty Dog was doing the chain, find a cart for the door, loading screen. Some things just never change. The climbing can be finicky sometimes, and we aren't given much more than straight paths to follow. But it's smooth and responsive when it does work, even by today's standards, which is saying a lot, because not much else of this game does hold up like that. So this is meant to be a treasure hunter game, sure, and there has to be puzzles, but if they go too hard it ruins the pace and we can't get back to our action adventures, so I really don't mind the puzzle in this game being do something with symbols or shoot the thing. I'm really wet. Probably what Elena said after watching you murder all those pirates. Y'all remember fixed cameras? A trend that I'm so glad we ditched. Why is this a win? Because Naughty Dog has come so far. Unless what? We follow the tracks. What do you mean? The tracks are 400 years cold, but... Whatever. Gotta say it, I sometimes miss that giddy optimism. That looks like the back wall of the temple was blown out. Just like my asshole. Yeah, it looks like he was killed. Ripped to shreds, actually. Nazi zombie shadowing. Unless, of course, you found something in there, Mr. Drake, that might compensate for all this unpleasantness. He's screwing with you, Nate. They heard everything. Just give him the map. I like that they sidestep the trope of Drake trying to lie and all the theatrics of the bad guy going, But oh, we heard everything. Now that you're a liar, you must suffer! He's got nothing to do with that. Sully! So why did Roman shoot Sully? Uh, I got no clue, but we need a bad guy, so there we go. Run, Forrest! Run! Whoa there, cowboy. And thus begins teleporting Elena. Why can't she teleport? It's because she's a badass who wants to be one of the boys. I like the little handshake. Punching people hurts sometimes. It's funny how corny and cheesy all their little relationship building scenes are. They could have gotten directed in a different way to be more nuanced about it, but Naughty Dog needs to make sure that we know these few people are into each other. Sully's dead. What? Yeah. And we're next if we don't get out of here. Oh god, I'm, I'm sorry. Please tell me you have a gun. Of course. This is like the only scene we got about Drake processing Sully's death. 
I think it works. It's a tense moment, and there is no time to think about that right now. And later, let's say he grieves off screen because the player hasn't spent enough time with Sully or Drake to really care about his death or the impact that that would have on Drake. So Naughty Dog just moves on with the plot. We're on the trail of the lost treasure of El Dorado, and it's brought us here. I love Emily Rose's reporter voice. I mean, it's a simple, easy thing to do, but I find it funny because my sister pointed out that I have a YouTuber voice when I record these scripts, and I was like, oh, shit, I really do. It's not intentional, but it just kind of naturally happened. Will we discover the ruins of a forgotten colony and a fortune in Spanish gold? Or does the island have darker secrets in store for us? That should keep him from changing the channel. Whoa! What the hell was that? And that'll keep us from changing to a different game. What the hell was that? This has nothing to do with Uncharted, but fuck it. I'm gonna use my platform to reminisce. Y'all remember that one time when the Cartoon Network allowed a curse word in the Clone Wars? What the hell was that? I remember seeing it when it aired and I lost my marbles. This is so not cool! You can't look at this game logically or as a narrative that's to reflect real life or inform us on the human condition. You just can't. There's a time and place for fun, and even writing it off as a fun, dumb action game isn't giving this game enough credit. Not anyone can make these types of stories and have them be enjoyable. Look at most of The Rocks movies. Forgettable. But we remember Uncharted despite it being a fun, dumb action game. And though it may just be that, that doesn't mean it can't have its own place as a great piece of media. If you're a little art house slut, like I love to be sometimes, that wants all media to be transformative, I got something to say to you. Peanuts. And if you don't know what I mean by that, then you're lost forever. Love you. Oh crap! We're on fire! Once again, this b pulling out her camera in imminent danger. I respect the grind though. It's hard out here, y'all. Does this thing even have parachutes? Now would be a good time to look! I love that this kind of banter has now been called Marvel Quimpy. But, like, that's just comedy, huh? What am I doing? Semping. We've all been there. You wanted to keep the plane level for your girl. Yo, that really did sound like a bro science life gunshot. So Elena's parachute says JP, and I can only think that's in reference to Japan. So in his motherland. And then Drake's is Indy, for his namesake and Naughty Dog. And this is why we love Nathan Drake. He can be smooth. He can be a badass, but sometimes he's just a goofball that everyone can relate to. I hope you like shooting giraffes because, oh, what the f that's his calories. Because that and light platforming is all you're gonna get. And if you like that, this game is gonna be like crack for you. Not exactly the clean cocaine gears of war gave us a year prior, but good in its own way. I love how humble the beginnings are for uncharted set pieces. It worked. There he is. Up there. Get on the gun. Oh boy. It'll just take a tug to pull these bars out. What? Her and Will Turner would get along greatly. <laughs> she missed the first hook. How much trouble could one girl be? Questions being answered by actions will never get old. Especially when it's as cool as that. This is a dime a dozen nowadays, but back in 2007, to stream so much data into the level so quickly was a huge feat. It knocked people's socks off back in the day. Get down! Damn it! This guy's crazy! And Drake is just chilling because he is too. Well, you're out of luck now! And out of road. Wow, this guy's a freaking poet. It's kind of so dumb, it's funny. Just some more, they gon' fall love blocking. Maybe you hadn't noticed, but we're kind of outnumbered. I like that it wasn't the giant flak cannons that got him to stop, but just a lot of people. Granted, uh, you could argue that there was no point in turning around because he was already entrenched and he would probably just get shot down and be lost at sea. So better to parachute onto land? Don't worry about it. We can argue about it later. It'll be great. You can't tell me that delivery wasn't the cutest, most adorable, most patronizing thing you've ever heard. This has got to be the most horrendous driving controls I've ever used. Even the ski game I played at the laundromat when I was a kid was better. But I'm just going to chalk it up to esteemed explorer Nate just doesn't know how to drive a jet ski and his bruised ego from the Jeep is why he insisted to. I read a story once about a cursed Inca treasure. You don't suppose that... Please don't tell me you believe in that stuff. Haha, <laughs> I get it, because Eldorado is cursed. So, setting up the cursed list. The whole colony doesn't just up and vanish. And to me, at least, it's kind of subtle enough to not spoil the twist later. When I heard this, I was just like Drake, through one ear, out the other. The way the combat runs in this game, I think is perfect. We never have to worry about loadouts or going through menus and customizing an optimal weapon. We just pick that shit up on the fly and keep moving. And the ammo not having a high cap is great to force us to move around the arenas and try out different weapons instead of just sticking with our favorites the entire game. 
I say as I use the Makara of the entire game. Sue me, because I play games on easy, because I'm here for a good time, not a hard time. I know some people would say the two are symbiotic, and I used to agree, but time is a devil we all gotta dance with. Elden Ring, please have mercy on me. Back to the point, this has a great impact on the immersion of Uncharted. There is barely any HUD, just the ammo counters and our weapon wheel. Really helps us just get lost in the world. If I could have it my way, I'd never use a HUD. In fact, when I started this channel, that was my plan, to give you guys the most cinematic experience possible. But I quickly found out that without using a HUD, it is a pain in the ass and not worth it. Huh, that's the last entry. I feel foolish for not seeing the twist coming as they set it up really well. Or maybe that's why it's because it isn't shoved down our throats. Of course it's the last entry because after they recovered, it is when the curse, uh, I mean virus, came out. Huh, that's the last entry. It's revealing that Nate grabs Francis' ring after seeing the book stops after the treasure was documented. It's like Francis is confirming Nate's anxieties about this hunt. That somebody special? Why? Jealous? Or are you into that sort of thing? More of a woman in every port kind of guy. <laughs> Don't I wish. Hey, Drake isn't a little f boy. That's nice to know. We got Sully for that, though. Sick Parvis Magna? Greatness from small beginnings. It was his motto. You hear that? There's hope for all the millimeter peeners out there yet. <laughs> I'm really going in on the sexual jokes this video. I guess that's what happens when a hot, sexy, juicy character like Sully is in a game. This happens. To pinpoint the exact burial site. For someone clever enough to figure it out. Flirting and motivation? But promise me you'll stay put. See, it's her left hand. It's the right hand that is used for Scout's honor. Sully's alive and for some reason looks better than before he died. Or is that just me? But no. Sully's a lot of things, but he's not a backstabber. Which way were they headed? Gayu friend is Loyal's name. Sure, his ride just left, but he could easily track that down and get it. But the second you realize Sully is back, it's full speed ahead for him. And should there have been a moment of revelation and contemplation for Drake seeing Sully is alive? Maybe. But remember the goals of this game. We aren't trying to hold on to every character moment in line like The Last of Us. This is unfreaking charted, where we got zombie Nazis. We either rescue him, or we beat the crap out of him. Why not both? Hell, I might just beat the crap out of him anyway. Oh, jump the gun. You know, let me know if it's just me, but has Shrek ruined every rope bridge scene for you too? Every time I see one, that goddamn onion man pops into my head. Didn't notice my first time through, but it's the exact board that buckles under Drake that Elena falls through. You've got to let it go! This was the moment I was talking about earlier. Returning the favor from when he was off the side of the Jeep. For as wonky as the controls are, it was really fun to take a jet ski up a river. I'm a freaking monkey at the base of my existence, and this pleases my monkey brain. My thought process as to why is because we naturally see rapids as a death sentence, and to go against them and climb them is just simple man conquering stuff makes dopamine and serotonin happen. DMT. That's disgusting. Oh, I wish I had my camera. <laughs> That's gotta be the same energy as me when I watch pimple popping videos. God, do I just want to throw one in there for like two seconds to subject y'all to the sick pleasure of Dr. Pimple. You are not gonna believe this. Huh? You're right, I don't, but it's poetic, so whatever. <laughs> Come on, I always am. What do you expect from me, Roman? My men are getting massacred! <laughs> I think Eddie might be the only sane one on the island. I'm telling you, this island is cursed! Enough! More hints. Comedy, huh? Don't be stupid, he knows we'll kill him once we find the treasure. He has no incentive to tell the truth. Really, Navarro, sometimes I think you left your brains back in that slum where I found you. I just need a little more time. You know, this just makes Roman seem like an idiot. Give him incentives. But after seeing how stupid he is, I'm not even mad that Navarro takes over as a twist for me. Man, does this high angle just make me think of the OG Resident Evil games. I'll stay here and keep a lookout while you figure out how we're going to get across. John, is that how it feels when I send you videos to edit? <clears throat> Yes. You know, at a point, do you think Drank ever asked himself, is this shit even worth it? Like, yeah, he's already come so far, but perpetual moving forever fire spiky cages? I'd be out. They didn't flesh out many of the other branches much, but this might be my favorite puzzle of the bunch. Sure, you just follow the numerals, but even traveling the correct way, you gotta use that meat computer. So much for greatness. Wasted his life. 
for nothing. I mean, that's all just a matter of perspective. Getting this far could have been the best thing that ever happened to Francis. And though he never found it, that's not the point. Enjoy the journey and the process, not the destination and the product, right? Something us creators and artists need to remind ourselves of occasionally. When the act of creation isn't fun, that's when you gotta reevaluate. And that's all well and good, and just more conjecture on my part, as we learn later that Drake died defending the world from the curse, so sometimes we should just die once we did something good. I don't know, though. A good friend of mine, Gerald, told me that anytime he ever gives advice, he always adds, I don't know, though, to the end of it, so he can never be responsible for people following and f***ing up. I think it's a pretty good idea, but I don't know, though. Drake, if we don't make it out of here, I just want you to know, I hate your guts. Expectation subversion, but also expectation fulfillment. I was totally wanting and hoping he'd say that, and he did. I hate your guts. Yeah, likewise, pal. Now let's do this. I love this. Enemy of my enemy. <laughs> Eddie, hold on! Though he tried to kill him so many times, Drake still tries to save Eddie. Just go turn the power on, come back and get me, and then we'll get the hell out of here, okay? Naughty Dog has their characters embracing their game design, but also sticking to continuity. Drake's a beefcake with unlimited stamina, so yeah. You know, this is one of the few times the yellow markings on climbable objects are excusable. It feels natural that these pipes might be a different color, because, I don't know, different metals? I'm not a muffler shop. You know I love me some center framing. In case you forgot these were Germans, here's an MP40. And I freaking love the MP40. Not just because it's a solid-ass gun and zombie. Shut up! These Nazis are pretty freaking creepy, and I now understand what Jakey meant in his horror video. And hey, finally some different gameplay with these f**ks that rush us down. Not even going from the bullet hell Uncharted to I've got two bullets and some tape with The Last of Us is the best character development I've seen in recent time. <laughs> I had to. Every time I hear this piano trill, I think, You like jazz? What has ODST done to me? Loud and clear, jackass. Oh, no microphone on your end. What a shame. There's a lot of tropes that Uncharted takes and just spins into a fight. Like this. Could have put a mic in there, no problem. We've seen it before, but they don't. There's a lot of self-awareness with this game, I feel. I love how stereotypically bad and douchey that guy in the back looks. Yeah, keep smiling, asshole. I'll see you soon. <sighs> no one north is a treasure. A national treasure? Uh, uncharted tre- I'm done. These motherfuckers straight up give me jackal sniper PTSD. These two never learn to check their corners. Did I plan for every contingency? Irony. The real treasure of El Dorado lies inside. <laughs> Open it! What a joker. <laughs> I love when two people just work harmoniously without having to share a word. Our man just straight up Captain America to a helicopter and Captain Sparrow this joker. Quite a day. <laughs> For a second, I thought she said date. I thought you might miss this. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> after he learned about Francis' true fate, I'm sure he was just taking himself. Find that other person that makes you whole. They're cute, and I love them. Leave me alone. I'm a hopeless romantic. <gasps> this really is just the most happy ending I have ever seen. They triumph over evil and save the world, but don't get the treasure. But Drake does get his ring back and the girl. So it was all a worthy experience. And then gold! <laughs> Can I just gush about how beautiful and heroic this theme is? It really just makes me feel so happy and that everything's gonna be okay. So I really like this game. It was just plain dumb fun that I didn't need to think too hard about. Sure, I did anyway, but not while I was in the seat playing it. I had a lot of fun writing this script, and I hope y'all don't mind all my random tangents and silly jokes. I know a lot of you enjoy the analysis, but there wasn't much substance here, so I just did what Naughty Dog did with this game and had some dang fun. And I'm being honest when I'm saying this might be the most fun I've had writing a script since the Guardians of the Galaxy video. And don't worry, the analysis is never gonna go anywhere. I love that part too, but I'm really enjoying just kind of f***ing around with you guys for a bit. Let me know if you had as much fun watching as I did riding it. Remember, drive the speed limit, drink some water, and love one another. Pizza!